scared me. Um, I didn't hear the doorbell ring. I'm sorry, I must have lost track of the time. Uh, obviously, I'm not really good at this. I'm Elaine. Uh, John. Yeah, sorry, uh, the door was unlocked, so I left myself in. You did say Tuesday, right? Yes, I did. Um, I'm sorry, I just really haven't been myself at all lately. It's... Is that for me? It's really sweet. You shouldn't have. Yeah, um, it was my pleasure. Um, listen. Would you mind coming to the living room? It's not time to go yet, and I'm really not good at entertaining men in here. <laughs> I mean, if I was, I wouldn't be in this situation. Sure, I like that. Interesting place you got here. Oh, yeah. I inherited it from my grandmother. It still needs a lot of work, but I just I can't seem to find the time or the energy. Too busy with your uh, intellectual pursuits? I suppose it seems silly to you. But then again, men don't really ever understand women. Please. Women are the greatest mystery of the world like a real man. I guess I just never understood anyone who'd rather read about life instead of actually living it. Well, what can I say? I'm a sucker for a romantic tragedy. Oh, wait. It's the latest update. Known only as the Lonely Hearts Club Killer has eluded police and federal agents for several months. Local residents are alarmed at the thought of a possible serial killer in their community. Police Chief Myers insists, however, that the threat is minimal. As long as people use common sense and take sensible precautions, then there really right. isn't any undue risk. They are spin extraordinary. No need to panic. We do have a suspect and we expect to have them in custody very soon. The Lonely Hearts Club Killer has just claimed their eighth victim in the heart of the metropolitan area, leaving a signature calling card next to the body. Jan? Have you been uh, reading all these reports on this Lonely Hearts killer? Actually, I tried not to pay it too much attention. It's too creepy. Hmm. Strangler. Really brutal stuff. Yeah. I think I did hear about that. I mean, my mom, she can't stop talking about it. Every time I call her, it's like an excuse for her to rehash everything she's heard. Why use a phone cord? You think something more uh, sturdy, right? Maybe because they're so handy? I mean, everyone has to have one. I don't know, who cares? Oh, I'm interested. <laughs> Did you know that all of his victims also posted to the same Lonely Hearts Club call? Like you and me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I have no manners at all. I didn't even ask you if you wanted a drink. Would you like one? All I have is sherry. Tempting, but I think I'll pass. Oh, well, I don't think I can take no for an answer. What a surprise. What's that? Nothing. Jeez, I'm so sorry. Are you... I, I got it. I got it. Thanks.
fun. I poured you another drink. When you want to go. Maybe 20 minutes? The night's young. That's interesting. I haven't seen one of these in ages. I just can't adjust to CDs. So I'm guessing you don't own a computer either. I have a love-hate relationship with them. I use one at work because I have to. So no online dating? I'm not exactly desperate. Really? You wrote to a singles club. So? So? So what? So you had to put an ad out just to get company for a night? It's just a temporary solution. Oh. Oh, I see. So, okay, let me get this straight then. You go to work, come home, bury your dreams in, in what? Some lurid fantasy novel? Huh? You have no life, no friends, no goals. You just drift along, day after day after miserable day. I bet you hate happy people, don't you? Where's all this coming from? Why are you being so mean to me? You know, you're an awfully critical person for being so pathetic. You're living in a fantasy, Elaine. I see it. Hell, even your own mother sees it. What are you too busy dreaming to open your goddamn eyes? Wake up! get a guy to love me. Elaine, uh, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. No. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry. Touch me. She's not the one, man. Huh. Yeah, we can clear up. All right, later.
you've reached Elaine. Sorry, I can't get on the phone right now. Please leave your name, number, and a brief message, and I'll call you back as soon as possible. Thank you. Elaine, yeah. honey, it's Mom. I just saw that I stab of yours in that newspaper. How many times do I have to tell you how dangerous that is? Now go listen. You just not go listen. I don't understand how to get through to you. Call me as soon as you get this message and get rid of that ad. No more dancing, not a more Sunday, 7.44 p.m. End of messages. After you've gone, let me cry. After you've gone, there's no denying. You'll feel blue, you'll feel sad. You'll miss the dearest smile you ever had. There'll come a time, now don't forget it. There'll come a time when you'll regret it. Someday, when you grow lonely, your heart will break like mine and you'll want me only. After you've gone, after you've gone away.